but I know a lot of people are like, okay, he got baptized, but what does it actually mean if he doesn't have a proper understanding of like sin and repentance and then it's now, like now you're he, born again did he just join the club or is there actually something going on here well does he talk about that in this clip here maybe we'll find out all right let's roll this clip jeff if you don't mind I swear, if this all comes out i'm gonna be really upset week Zach. one as a christian has been amazing the yeah. ceremony itself was incredible i want to thank bear grills and my mate joe bear the Grylls. two men that stood either side of me and flanked me for their baptism itself. It was pretty incredible. There was a ceremony prior, some hymns. Those of you that have been baptized know about it. I did the baptism in the River Thames and in my home, so it was a very, very intimate experience. Wow. What I suppose most people will be interested in, other than the crazy detail that my mate Joe, during the ceremony, really injured his foot and we went straight from the baptism into the necessary Christian life of helping people, going to a hospital, helping an injured man. Like, this, Are there a lot of injuries in baptisms? There's another baptism injury. The ER and A&E <laughs> around the world full of people what is fresh happening? from baptisms, nursing wounds and injuries. The main thing is that since it... <laughs> I've cut myself in the water. Connection. Like, do you see what an amazing gift this is? I've heard, because I'm sort of aware of media, even though I don't pay much attention to it for obvious reasons, that some people are like kind of um, cynical about it. And of course, if they could stop people awakening, they would stop people awakening. If they could somehow foreclose against it, prohibit and prevent it. Perhaps this is not unique to Christianity. Maybe if you are awakening in a way that's personal to you, and I'd be really interested in hearing, they would equally oppose that but what they want mostly is for people to be Who's controlled they? curtailed contained by their material models you can they probably don't pause it. people recognizing yeah. oh, he's going my into life the, isn't about me it feels like he's straight the, from the, the uh, us versus them they whoever they is guess what we get to do is we get to think oh yeah i have an idea who they are that's brilliant i think he just dovetailed it back into his previous mo which was red pilled <laughs> like that's that's kind of the way he worked but it's a. I'm okay. Like but, I'm gonna give the guy some space because he's just he's just figuring it out. I can't I can't judge him the same way that I would judge me, you, and your shitty Christianity. I, it feels a little this too is true. Okay, it feels I, he's not a millennial, but it feels a little too millennial when they talk to the camera. Like, okay, guys, week one. Oh my gosh. So guys, I'm like we, you've already lost me. I don't actually think you're in the right place. I. Thank you. He's a media celebrity and influencer. Like it's that's not, his job. Yeah, but the it's fact just what he does. Right. By the way, we're dipping our we've I mean, we're dipping I, our I'm, toe I'm into completely this. Completely theorizing here, just based off the vibe that he's given up. It's like, oh right, guys, week one of Christianity. Hey, by the way, here's my cross. I'm like, uh, I'm not exactly sure what's <laughs> he did, happening here. He did bring props. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, like did somebody be like, okay. So, Russell, here's what you do, and then you say you could say this, and then just kind of go off and say whatever you want. I'm like, I'm a little hesitant. Well, it's part of just sharing culture. Like, some people is it? Sh share everything. What do you mean? Like, it's yeah. constant. Like, he, he's constant everything. If you go to his Instagram, it's, I mean, his Instagram, yeah, his is, life, it's- what Christ, what, what accepting Christ does is it completely shifts who you are. No, it doesn't. Really? Yeah. Do you Here still sin? Go. Before you sinned. Do you did you become a Christian? And do you still sin? How you did you like soccer before and after being a Christian? How you? That's his biggest sin. Do you wash dishes and not wash dishes now? You're not. You're not totally. Those are changed. trivial things. Y yes, Tanya, you are. I, Tanya, does Jeff wash dishes? If you could send us a voicemail. <laughs> yeah. at yes, you are completely changed. You're like, oh, this is how he is. You're not changed. You're not completely changed, but you are changed. The core essence of your personality does that completely change? Is what you're, what you love and attracted to, and find beautiful in the world? Does that change? Sometimes, some of this yes can, can change. Yes, but not it completely. Completely changes. I bet if I tested you on this, you you wouldn't say that. Okay, test me. I.e., uh, what all the general sins you mentioned at the top of this podcast. <laughs> sins, sins are going to happen. We are not perfect. We're not Jesus. So you're, so you're not going to completely change when you become a Christian. No, how, how you see everything changes. How like all right, I can just see that walking into something, and be like, yeah, whatever. No, it's not whatever anymore. It's a life 
in Christ, and that completely changes. You so I mean, and I'm not gonna. You know what? I'm just theorizing about the vibe that I'm getting from him. I hope. You got flags. I hope that he's completely. I hope yes. I hope he's completely changed. I hope in a year from now, we're looking at videos of him, not only a believer, but just bringing other people into. Doesn't even matter who it is. Doesn't have to be Hollywood people. Just anybody living a humble life. I would love to see that that would be it would just shake the earth maybe that's the key word the humble life is the part that feels a little weird right now because it doesn't feel very humble hey guys week one necessarily like like, definitionally it it won't be because his business is him and so pre-christian it's him and it's his takes on politics and them the the elites that are out to control you and now post-christianity we'll see does it shift at all? Because it's still like in that in that uh, clip, like instantly he's going into they, 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 they with right. zero definition on who they are. It's just assumed. And I, if you if you watch him a lot, you get have a good idea who he's talking about. But it's still instantly into the us versus them, and that is a little bit of my red flag for him or, or anybody else. We're all caught in this us versus them. Who's in? Who's out? Everything is polarized, and uh, it's A or B. He, he was he was already there, though. Correct, and so I'll I'll give him time. Yeah, and I I I'm interested to see how that shifts. But man, we gotta we gotta get out of this. Jesus wasn't just did do us versus them occasionally, but never with people. It was always with people who thought they weren't the sinners. It's the people that thought thought they were the righteous. Anybody that was the sinner, the pe- person that was looked down to, upon, the person that was the lowest of society. Yeah. He never did the turning of the tables type stuff on them. And so I just want, I, I just, I hope for the best. For, yeah. for this. So if we go back to somebody who was ahead Trust of Trust but verify. If we go back to somebody who was ahead of his time, Kirk Cameron, who he was a celebrity, he was, I mean, he was a very popular, he was on a popular show and in a couple of movies. And then he went, and, I mean, he, was just like, I'm a Christian. I'm not going down this path. And he went in a different direction and completely humble and outspoken to like, I'm a believer and this is what's right. And this is what's good. And this is what's good for my soul and my family. And I, I don't want to take them down that path. And so I'm going in this direction, still going to act. And, and, but I'm, when I act, it's going to be things that are encouraging and will edify, you know, people that are Christians. And, and so like, that's very different than, you know, what we see happening now of like a famous person be like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm following Jesus now. I'm like, okay. Like now does your life, you know, does it demonstrate that as you're, you know, going out into the world? That's kind of the big question I have for everyone who's anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a little person, big person, big person being like just somebody who's in the the face of of the media. So if I big. could say something here. Holy shit. Oh, disembodied yeah. voice. You don't voice need to eat that, here. Mike. I'm, I'm right up on it. I am on this <laughs> SM58. One of the concerns that I've always had about all these guys is that when it's when it's positive for them, when they're enjoying... And girls. And guys and girls, when they're enjoying <laughs> their conversion experience, when it's the exciting and it's new. Same thing with Kanye. Honeymoon. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. Yeah, the honeymoon phase. That's what I think happened to Kanye. He got through the honeymoon phase, and then it was like, oh, this takes work, just like every other relationship. And then they're yep. like, oh, this isn't as much fun anymore. Next. Time to make some porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Porn that sounds like fun. <laughs> I repent, Jesus. It's, I repent. It's oh, the Lord. natural next step. <laughs> Obviously. All right. Well, you know, this Jesus thing is not working. I think porn. <laughs> Jeez, oh well, my for gosh. some people, for Kanye. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, what were you going to say, Andy? Uh, well, we're getting close to landing this plane. Well, I we think. are getting close. There's so much more I want to say. Uh, well, what's one of those things? Well, I don't have a problem with... Oh, he didn't say all the doctrinally, the classic orthodox, this is what baptism is. Yeah. I don't have a problem with all that. Okay. And maybe I don't know if that's right or not, but it's where I feel comfortable. I just like directionally, what is the fruit, his life and his business? What's the fruit that's going to bear? Sure. 
And it, it does that is that directionally towards like actual love in the world, not the like oh just love man, but love can be the hardest thing you do if you have if your parents have teenagers, you know what I'm talking about, that letting go, knowing when to not let go, it hurts so bad when you love well, because sometimes it looks like laying down your life. And so like, if that's where his, the direction of his life is going, awesome. And I, I hope that for everyone. 